Greetings and blessings from the Most High, Ja Rastafari, Crawford Ashley here, the spiritual boxer, and I'm talking about boxing, like I always do. Um, I don't like getting involved in the politics of boxing, or who said this, or who said that, or what the funky this, I'm just interested in boxing, basically. And forget the politics, just I want to see two good boxers box. And somebody, I got um, the thing on my Facebook page, Michael Nunn. And I was just thinking back to my fight with Nunn. And then, could you imagine what the fight would have been like if we'd have got a return? Me at my way, him at his way. Because I remember after the fight, the guy was a completely different character. And that's because he respected the fact I came to have a fight. You know, came to challenge him and give him a challenge. And I think that's what most fighters and most boxers want. They want the challenge. They want to box some, they want to beat somebody who wants to beat them. And when you see these matches that are being made now where Guys are just going in to lose or just to stay the distance. That to me is not boxing. Um, the fighter don't get anything out of it. And the crowd don't get anything out of it. So, I mean, let's, have, let's bring bo boxing to what it is. Boxers fight, you know? Because I know to me, I'd have fought anybody. My trainers knew that. My manager knew that, but yet they didn't want to put me in, they wanted to get me beat. Which I couldn't, I just couldn't understand it. You know, getting me fights at very short notice. Eastwood, one of the top managers out there. I boxed Graziano Rodrigini at six days notice for six grand. The man was ripping me off, but I just wanted to fight the best. And that's when they use people like that and they keep you on the back burner. You know, they don't get you fighting regular, putting you out there. Because they're just waiting. Waiting for that phone call to, yeah, no problem, we'll get him. Because they knew I would put on a good show, put on a good display, because I want to win. And I find there was quite a few fighters out there in my time, I can't remember the names who were like that, who just disappeared. Because they wanted to fight the best and the managers tried to hold them back because, well, they did hold them back and got on crap paydays. Because they're lying in their own pockets, it's, it's a sad state of affairs. And I've got um, my son coming through and he's picking the right manager for him because most managers, they're just dogs. No, because dogs are loyal. Yeah, dogs are loyal. No, they're not. They're worse than that. I don't like managers, can't stand them. The pimps. And... Maybe two or three managers. I know that I had time for the boxers. You know, but there's very few very few good managers you know and that's sad there's a lot of snakes in boxing and there's a lot of too many middlemen too many people pushing buttons instead of letting fights fight you know because all the fans want to see is a good fight all the fighters want to do is test themselves against the best. So why ain't it happening? Because of these businessmen. You know what I mean? Fuck the fuck boxing up. And I think, for me, one of the best ways and quickest ways to bring boxing back to where it's that competitive is to get rid of the matchmakers and then do what the purse is for the fight, not you getting X amount of money whether you win or lose. 
if you win you get more and if you lose you get less it's that simple and let's see the best like the best anyway till tomorrow bye